Good morning. Welcome back. Are there times in the believer's life that call for decision and action? Well, I know we already know the answer, but our reading today is coming to us from Jeremiah chapter 21, and this time verses 8 to 10. The last two mornings we've talked about this, and we're, we have today and tomorrow morning to work on this. Let's look at verses 8 to 10. Now you shall say to this people, thus says the Lord, behold, I set before you the way of life and the way of death. He who remains in this city shall die by the sword, by famine, and by pestilence. But he who goes out and defects to the Chaldeans who besiege you, he shall live, and his life shall be as a prize to him. For I have set my face against this city for adversity and not for good, says the Lord. It shall be given into the hand of the king of Babylon, and he shall burn it with fire. Well, are there times when we need to be decisive and actually do something about what we believe? Yes, there are. Of course there are. For the believers in the kingdom of Judah in Jeremiah's time, there was exactly such a time. Through his prophet, God called for these people to actually cooperate with the Babylonian invaders. Remaining in Jerusalem meant to subject oneself to the sword, to famine, and to pestilence. And in fact, God said the city would be burned by fire, so we certainly know 100% that that's coming. Now, those who obeyed would have their life for a, quote, prize, unquote. They would get to live. Think what this would mean today for you, where you live. I mean, you could imagine that people at that time must have been very hesitant. I mean, to step out and to go over to the Babylonians, you might have seemed to your friends, neighbors, and relatives to be some kind of a traitor. But remember, God had been working for a long time through his servant Jeremiah and other prophets, calling the people to repent, calling the people to repent, calling the people to repent, and most of them had not done any such thing. So this isn't something that's just popped up on the screen and we're all just being faced by it. No, this is a long-standing situation. We know that through Jeremiah, God is talking about chastening his people. And as the people look around with their own eyes, they can see that God's doing that very thing. But it still would have been, I think, probably very hard for many people to follow this instruction. Here was a case where you had to take action. I mean, you had to actually get your stuff, get your family, get up and get out of Jerusalem. But not really a big surprise. There are other times in Bible history, actually several of them, when people had to actually either get up and get out or get up and go into another place. When Noah was preaching before the flood, what did the people need to do? They actually needed to physically get on the ark. They could talk about it all day long. They could write papers about it. They could hold debates about it if they wanted. But you know what? Before the rain started, they needed to be on the ark. I mean, that was just, that's the baseline. Sometimes the divine command is to go somewhere, and sometimes the divine command is to stay somewhere. But when the divine command comes, you need to have the discernment to know it's a divine command, and you need to have the will to act on it. Back when the Hebrews were being delivered from Egyptian bondage, there came that night, that Passover night. There had to be blood on your doorpost. When the midnight came and the angel came through, the angel of death, you had to have the blood on your doorpost. There weren't any... You couldn't have a note from, you know, a note from your pastor or something. You had to have the blood on the doorpost. You had to actually do something. And there's a risk for us today that as we potentially face mighty developments, according to the book of Revelation and the book of Daniel in our day, that when a giant command comes, something that is that's immovable, that we have to make a decision, we have to physically act and willfully act on it, will we be ready to do that? Let's pray right now to him. Dear Father in heaven, Am I really seeking you? Do I, am I seeking to have strong discernment? Am I ready to put my will on your side and to act out my faith when you call, when you make a giant call? This is a, this is a question for every one of us, Lord. There certainly seem to be signs that we're living at a time when momentous developments are happening all around us. Lord, help us not to be paralyzed or slow or slow motion people, Lord, but help us to be ready to discern what your will is, and then to act upon it. Oh, please, bring us to where we can be ready for that. Lord, we ask it in in Jesus' name. Amen. So I guess the answer is yes, of course. Yes, there are times when God calls us to discern his will and then to act on our faith. May God be with you today, and may you act on your faith this day, serving the Lord Jesus.